Chief Minister Konrad Sangma chaired a meeting today with the three autonomous district councils of the state. He informed that three key agendas were discussed during the meeting. The overall administration was reviewed and discussions were held on various policies, including financial policies, service rules and procurement policies. The chief minister also mentioned that financial reforms in the three autonomous districts were discussed. The chief minister also spoke on rationalization efforts in GHADC and JHADC. So uh, today we had a very productive meeting with uh, the three autonomous district councils of our state, namely the Genti Hills, Khasi Hills and uh, Garo Hills Autonomous District Council. And uh, the objective of this uh, meeting was uh, in uh, three different uh, objectives. Uh, first objective was to uh, look at the overall administ administration um, and the different rules, whether financial or HR or procurement policies, and ensure that uh, wherever the district councils felt that they needed the support of the government and to work with the government in um, guiding them uh, to ensure that the different rules are in place. Uh, we discussed all those details and uh, we are hopeful that all the district councils will put in their different administrative HR, service rules, procurement policies, financial policies. Uh, at different levels in all the district councils at the earliest. So detailed discussion took place and we have formed a special committee uh, which will be headed by the chief secretary and the different district council officials will be members and whatever guidance and whatever support is required will be done to ensure that that objective is met. The second objective was to uh, go into all the bills that are pending in the last many, many years for different district councils, which are pending for different reasons, some uh, at uh, the department level, some at the council level, some at the law department level, and some even in the governor's secretariat. And hence, um, we have asked the expert committee, which has been set up under the DCA, uh, who, which will incorporate the different uh, uh, concerned departments and also the uh, district councils to examine all of these pending bills and find out the reasons why uh, and where they are stuck and uh, work towards ensuring that they uh, reach the logical conclusion that they should. So that's the second objective which is to ensure that all the pending bills of the district councils are uh, passed and cleared at the earliest. Uh, the third was regarding financial uh, reformation in the different district councils. Uh, in detail, we discussed about the different financial situation and positions that the district councils are facing, uh, the different uh, manpower issues that they're having. Uh, for example, uh, we saw that uh, the Garohul's Autonomous District Council has close to 1,500 employees and uh, about five years back they had about 2500 employees and uh, salaries even uh, exceeding to almost five crores is being paid on a monthly place basis five plus minus i don't have the exact number with me uh, being paid by the district councils in spite of as i said 1000 employees uh, uh, you know reduction taking place uh, as a um, you know in terms of uh, rationalization that took place in the council, district Garo's district council. And uh, similarly, the Gentile district council, which has approximately about 12 to 1400, I can't remember the exact number of employees. And they're also facing similar hardship uh, because of uh, large manpower. And the uh, Kasi Hills, which has about 800, uh, less than 800 employees. And hence, uh, we looked at all those aspects. We looked at the revenues that they were getting. And we suggested that uh, uh, you know that experts uh, can be engaged to ensure and see how the uh, overall revenues can be augmented and increased in the uh, different district councils. Uh, at the same time, the different um, um, 
assets that they have, the land and different buildings that they maximize in terms of revenue generation for the district councils and also to find other ways in which more revenue can be raised. Uh, so that kind of financial reforms were discussed and a roadmap was set and again the uh, Chief Secretary will be heading a committee which will uh, time and again examine this aspect and look into this issue on how to improve the overall financial health of the district councils. Uh, we also went into the different issues about the 15th Finance Commission uh, fundings and certain uh, aspects need to be worked on as there are more funds that are available from the centre and hence some more paperwork is required. Once we do that, we'll be able to get more funds from the centre and uh, those aspects were discussed. And uh, the end, we also discussed about the overall capacity building of the manpower at the district councils. We felt that um, overall the expertise and the manpower that is there existing in the councils, uh, if we can find ways to train the manpower and improve the overall efficiency, it would go in the benefit of the council only. So those matters were also discussed. Uh, we also discussed about the different um, customary practices and cultural aspects which is what one of the main objectives of the council is is to preserve the culture and the heritage of our state and hence uh, i propose to the different district councils that um, different kind of research uh, and documentation needs to be done and that the state government would be happy to work with uh, the different district councils to support them in whatever way possible so that we are able to document uh, uh, and preserve and preserve the different cultural aspects and knowledge that are there in our customs. Uh, so these were the broad areas of discussion. Uh, of course, this is just a first initial phase. We do expect that uh, many more such engagements will take place. We are uh, ensuring that these different uh, objectives that we have discussed today, that we'll be able to uh, reach to a logical conclusion in those aspects. So that was the summary of today's meeting. This is precisely the reason why uh, we are engaging with them continuously. Uh, this uh, issue of the uh, problem with the district councils, uh, which we are not seeing in Khasi Hills uh, that much, is because of the appointments that have been made in the past many, many years. Uh, as I was mentioning to you and giving an example, that the Garo Hills Autonomous District Council in the year about 2015-16 had close to 2,500 employees, whereas Khasi Hills Autonomous District Council even today has less than 800 employees. And this happened because uh, during that time, uh, appointments were made without any kind of sanction or any kind of uh, process or recruitment uh, system, and it was made purely at a political will. But in the last uh, five to six years, uh, we have been monitoring things very closely. I have taken personal interest and uh, no new appointments have been made in the last five to six years in the Garovils Autonomous District Council. And hence, if somebody retired, then those posts were rationalized and those who were put against a non-sanctioned post were then taken up and taken put against those who retired against a sanctioned post. And so there was a lot of restriction in the last five, six years. And that is why we were able to reduce the numbers from 2,500 today to less than 1,500. We are about 1,400 employees in Garo Hills. But it is still a huge number. To give an example to you, just the forest department alone has got 450 employees in the, in the Garo Hills Autonomous District Council. Today, Jente Hills District Council has got 300 uh, uh, employees in the, in the education department, where the education department uh, was transferred in... Uh, back in uh, in the 90s uh, to the to the state government but uh, certain uh, schools were left uh, or you know they recruited again at that point in time and today there is something called the district council lp schools still functioning in uh, in Jente hills and hence uh, those kind of burdens uh, were uh, not rationalized at that point in time and the impact of these kind of recruitments that took place without any sanction and without any procedure uh, is having the impact on the district councils now. So reforms have started, but uh, they will take uh, time to uh, to see a clear impact. 
but we are seeing already as i said the overall burden of uh, salary is going down uh, but it will not be enough because the revenues also have to go up uh, and other expenditures have to go down so it's a quite a long drawn process uh, but as i said it's not a problem that uh, has is emerged from nowhere it is because of the uh, misgovernance and uh, as i said because of certain appointments being done uh in a very very haphazard manner in the past many many years which led to the current condition of the district councils so that is where the service rules come in uh certain service rules certain councils do not have service rules or rather they had service rules but they are very old some of the service rules were there but not followed at certain point in time in certain cases the service rule was amended and sent but uh, again changes were made but again it lied uh, you know pending for some time so these kind of uh, small administrative uh, matters has delayed the service rule in certain cases i don't want to go into details about all of them because these are internal matters but just to give an example to you that yes because of that uh, there were some recruitment uh, issues but once these rules are in place once procedures are in place then uh, uh, it will not be so simple for somebody to just flaunt the rules and the laws and do as they desire or as they wish they'll have to follow procedure councils are very important for our state because uh, they protect the identity and they protect the overall culture and the custom and uh, the heritage of our state and our people and hence uh, uh, because the administration uh, has not been uh, up to the mark i should say because of so many so many factors which i just mentioned to you that does not mean that councils should be uh, you know should be abandoned or should be taken out that is not uh, at all uh, the objective uh, councils have a very important role to play and they should continue but we need to find ways to improve the administration to improve the financial performance and to streamline the process and increase the overall revenue so that they can be stable which i'm sure that uh, with all of us working together we should be able to achieve no we are uh, not calling it a bailout that would be a very wrong term to use but we are giving the support whenever possible and we are happy to give the support but the support has to be also based on some kind of um system that we could put in place because we hoping that um, we'll be able to improve the overall functioning and so like government of india which also does with us that certain funds are released based on certain reforms that we do so we are also discussing with the district councils in a similar manner that if there is ways in which reforms can take place and we can link certain incentives to certain reforms that take place which is obviously in the interest of the council and something that should not go against the interest of the council and um, respecting their jurisdiction and their constitutional provisions so we are working in all those aspects and trying to see how we could support them so bailout is not the correct word uh, we are there to support and that's the reason why we looked at even the augmentation of the financials and also rationalization of employees uh, so by that we mean that how could we um, you know in a much more productive manner use the uh, employees of the district council to achieve more uh, goals um, you know and uh, you know in the larger interest of the council and of the state government also so all these matters are being looked into we had a very positive discussion i hope that we'll be able to uh, slowly and steadily improve the situation we are already seeing the improvement but uh, a lot more needs to be done